With Acumatica, you can configure automated inventory replenishment to cover many possible situations. In addition to purchasing inventory to replenish stock, you can also set up replenishment using a transfer from another warehouse, manufacturing, a drop shipment, or special order. A replenishment class is assigned to each warehouse. Additional replenishment settings are specified for each item class and can be changed at the item level as well. We'll take a detailed look at the replenishment with purchase process. We will look at item class setup to review some of the replenishment features. Item classes are created to store default settings as we saw in the beginning for new items. And most settings are editable at the item level as well. Click over here. The calculation for demand used during the replenishment process is based on this setting on the item class. So if demand is based on item class settings, Acumatica will calculate demand based on the availability calculation rule specified for the item class. Or if it's hard demand only, it uses a standard calculation, which is sales order allocated plus shipped plus back ordered. Now we'll shift back over to our item screen. The remaining um, parameters are managed for each item. It's in the replenishment info tab in the item. You can set the min max quantities used in replenishment manually. Acumatica also offers calculation of replenishment parameters based on a demand forecast using the moving average model. This option calculates demand for a specific future period based on historical sales. For items with the moving average model assigned, you define forecast period type, which is the type of period to be used for the selection of historical data and demand calculation. This can either be quarter, month, week, or day. And you also define periods to analyze. This is the number of periods of historical data to use for calculation. So for this product, we've manually entered the parameter quantities for this computer. You can also look at settings on the vendor tab where you can enter vendor minimum and maximum order quantities, which are also used during the replenishment. Now we'll explore how Acumatica uses this demand forecasting to assign the new min-max values. Here we see a list of items that are set up for a moving average demand forecast model. This process can be run manually or set up in an automatic schedule within process screens. Acumatica has, has an option to add a schedule to perform actions automatically. So anywhere we see the clock, we can hit add and define the criteria for which data we want it to act on and when. So if we choose an item We can process it and Acumatica will calculate the new replenishment settings. Then you can review the calculated settings against the current parameters and apply the new values. So here we'll choose our same item and you can review current versus suggested and process. The newly calculated replenish, replenishment parameters are now set for the item warehouse combination. And you can see the results and the de demand forecast process on the item warehouse details screen. Here we have our new settings that were calculated and entered and our data from our process. So now using these calculated or assigned parameters, you can process replenishment. So if I go into prepare replenishment, we look at the wholesale warehouse. 
all items that are determined to need more stock based on the replenishment parameters will show here. These items are set up to be replenished using a purchase from the preferred vendor. So Acumatica will calculate the quantity to process when inventory for an item falls below the reorder point. If our computer item for our computer item, remember that the maximum vendor order quantity was 100. Therefore, if the calculated quantity to process is more than the maximum vendor quantity, the system limits the replenishment to the vendor max. So if we decide we need to order the computer, we'll mark the item and process for replenishment. We've confirmed that the item should be ordered, and now the purchase order can be created. So our purchasing staff would be able to go in and see that this PO is ready to be created. We can select it and process. And it will automatically open our newly created PO. If this is ready to be sent to the vendor, we would take it off of hold and approve. So our PO has been sent out, and now a PO receipt would be created and released when the items are received into the warehouse. So here we could enter the PO receipt when it gets received in. And release that, and now our, and now our product will be in inventory. The Acumatica replenishment process includes many configurable settings and procedures to meet the unique needs of your company.